here's a look got those battalions done so got the 35th and the 4th were some of the first Napoleonic battalions I painted for the British and uh, got them all painted I've also gone back and uh, watched a tutorial on this camera and uh, I, it had a uh, uh, like a gyro built into it. it What's a gimbal? Excuse me. Um, so it's kind of uh, my hands are shaking and I'm moving too fast. I think it'll help slow things down a little bit. Uh, the two other battalions I got are, are the I think it's the the Prince of Wales own Irish and also. Uh, I think it's a Kent and Lancaster unit. They're very similar numbers. Give me one second here. I'll, I'll verify. Yeah, the 84th and the 87th are the two new British uh, line units that I've uh, got done painting. They're all Perry miniatures. I, I think there's two Warlord figures for each. Uh, the Sapper and the Sergeant. And they're identical. So they've got two metal guys. Um, just uh, next to the command sprue, which is kind of nice having that. Uh, uh, I really didn't. When I first started painting Napoleonics, I didn't know about you know that that component. <laughs> I didn't know anything actually, but uh, yeah, so that's good. A um, couple other things I've done. I, I'm getting ready to clean up now that I've got those painted. I picked up a whiteboard, so I'm going to start writing more organizational stuff on that as well. I've had a little bit of an epiphany in this junk pile. There's a whole room back over there. So instead of adding, I'm gonna add a foot onto this table anyway, but I'm also gonna add a, uh, a 12 foot by six foot table in that second room back there uh, late, sometime during the summer. So then you can almost have a continuation of the battlefield where it'll, it'll end here so this will end up being 17 foot by seven and they'll have an extra 12 foot by six foot over there so whatever whatever the heck 17 and 12 is that's 29 foot uh long gaming table i've got to buy some more terrain of course i don't think i can get these gaming mats anywhere i've tried since killing fields went out of business um that's just not a, I uh, just can't find another person that sells it. But that's okay. Uh, with the me heading direction for six millimeter stuff here in the future, I am going to um, I'm going to get some gaming mats from Cigar Cigar Box Battlefield or Cigar Cigar Box Mats or what a terrain I got. I can't remember the name of the company. Sorry, uh, I know it's Cigar Box or company here in America. Uh, Travis at Tabletop CP recommended them. So I'm going to grab some of those because I think this teddy bear stuff will just look insane for uh, for 6mm. That will be too tall. So uh, you'll ha I'll have when I want to do a, a massively huge battle in 28mm you know that's 29 foot wide battlefield which is kind of nuts. Um, <laughs> I really can't believe I'm saying that out loud. But uh, when I do that uh, I'll have, you know, these three over here, and then I'll have uh, some kind of mats on the other 12 foot by six foot table that'll be over in that second room. That'll be kind of fun, right? Running back and forth between all that. So, not so. But uh, yeah, I was debating about going to the attic, but I think uh, I'm not going to do that now. So my daughter is my well, all four of my daughters are super excited. I had this epiphany. Uh, Yesterday, so now I'm going to I'll turn that into the uh, uh, like a home theater or something for them and get a high def projector, so that'll make them happy when they have a sleepover with their buddies or something like that. So cool, and uh, it'd be kind of cool to watch something like Star Wars and or you know some other cool movie up there and just I'll put speakers all up in the walls and, and stuff like that and just melt my face when I want to crank it to the roof. So that's cool, and that's it. So these are four well two new british battalions and one sorry and two uh redone ones so i'm it's kind of nice to go back i mean i was always kind of 
as your painting improves, it's kind of nice to go back and fix stuff that didn't look good. And I know a lot of you guys kind of came out of the womb being able to paint suit like a superstar. I've kind of, thankfully, I've improved since I started. So I'm kind of thrilled that you can really tell a difference in my stuff. So when I redo it all, so it's kind of nice. And the plan is to do that with more and more units uh, in the future here. I'm, uh, I bought some more troops for my medieval stuff that's been predominantly lion and dra dragon rampant. I'm going to pick up uh, the new Hail Caesar rules. And I've been watching a lot of battle reports on that. And I'm kind of interested in cranking it out. And I, I think I owe uh, the Nap Napoleonic Wargamer Tim. I know that he won't really care, but I, I really, he's done so much for me and my, in my hobby. Uh, in Napoleonics because I didn't know crap about it until basically painting these guys and listening to all of his uh, amazing stuff on his channel. Um, I'm going to play a, a big game of Black Powder at some point with his uh, new rules. I can't remember the name of them, but it's basically a spin-off of... Uh, uh, it's a combination of things from all the source books, the extra books from uh, Black Powder plus second edition rules. So... I think he has them available off his uh, Google page or something like that, or, or, or off his YouTube page, his links for it. I can't remember it. But he had a big old tournament a couple weeks ago uh, over in England. So at Boards and Swords. So I definitely want to try that just because it looks fun and it'll be quick, um, quicker. Uh, but, you know, and also just to say thanks for, uh, I at least owe it to him to try the, those rule sets that he developed. Uh, but next up, uh, I'm going to finish this. I'm going to, um, what's it call it? Get ready for the next battle. In, and then it's going to be General Day Arme. So, yay. Um, and then I think all I have to paint for the, between the next game will be one Russian battalion and one Polish battalion. So, and then uh, I think everything's even now. I think uh, we've got an even number of battalions. It's kind of like, I think there'll be 80 infantry battalions on the table or something like that. It's something ridiculous. So, uh, yeah, nuts. Um, and then after I get those Polish and stuff done, I'll, I'll take a little break. I'm going to try uh, uh, Hail Caesar. I'm going to try um, with hot, was it hot lead and cold steel? I'm gonna try that with my Civil War stuff. Um, and then in the meantime, I've got all the, I've got a good gist of my six millimeter stuff. And for uh, the, it's part of that uh, Lion Rampant, Dragon, Ra Dragon Rampant stuff. So I'm gonna do some big games of Hail Caesar with six millimeters. So that'll be kind of fun too. So I'll have to, it'll really kind of depend on how fast I can grab some terrain and get those, uh, and get a couple mats from Cigar cigar Box Battlefield. I don't know why I'm having a stroke trying to say Cigar Box. Um, so, uh, yeah, uh, I haven't cleaned up from the last battle because basically just sat down and started painting. And uh, that's it. But I got my little map thing. I've got one more thing to show that I'm really excited about. And I got I really got to thank Scott. Uh, I think it's Scott Driscoll at uh, Check Your Leader TV uh, for one, for doing all of his boot camp, uh, boot camp stuff for General Day Arme. Then he also did a tactical video for General Day Arme too. And he also did a, uh, here's all the mistakes I found that I made during my boot camp and fixed them all. So uh, I really appreciate people going out of a way. And if you haven't seen his channel, you need to. He's freaking awesome. I think he was a, I don't know if he was Royal Marines or Royal, uh, something to do with the Royal Australian Army. Uh, I, I, I'm not the best on it. Uh, nailing down their uniforms. I think he was a big dog officer, training officer. So, uh, yeah, and he's great. Uh, a lot of a lot of fun to watch, very helpful. Got a lot of good stuff on his uh, channel. So, um, yeah, but I, he gave um, basically the sponsor of his uh, videos that he did, the boot camp was, oh, what the name of the company? Oh, I'm gonna have a, I'm gonna feel terrible now. I can't remember the name of the company. I remember Battlefield Accessories over in Australia. Uh, they have all these markers uh, for a Gentle Day Armee too. So uh, fabulous! Um, 
this will help me stay organized instead of trying to remember what a certain color washer was. I was going to print some of mine own out and then laminate them, but uh, these are a lot nicer and they don't reflect uh, like a laminated card will reflect back light at me. So these won't do that. Um, so that's phenomenal. Uh, if you get a chance, it was pretty cheap and they got here pretty fast. Um, I'm, in, I'm in Kentucky. So they came all the way from Australia to me within 10 days. So, and the price wasn't bad at all. And you can also, if it's still going on, you can put that code in that he gives you in his videos and you can get those free deployment markers too. So you can, for the for the new deployment rules for uh, uh, General Day RMA too. Uh, the I got two of these packs just because I have uh, I play a little bit big. So uh, um, I hope it's enough. It should be okay. Well, that's all I got. I uh, will get this organized and picked up. And uh, boom, we'll get a. I'll start hopefully start playing a game this afternoon. And uh, hopefully the sound works good. I've, I've played with the mic. I played with the gimbal inside of this camera. I think I've got everything right because I really want to put out better material for you guys. I was going to buy one of those hand gimbals, those mini Squirt 2s, but they're like 200 bucks. I think I'd rather buy $200 worth of miniatures or terrain or, or gaming mats instead. Plus I got my, my Jeeps in. I got a 94 uh, Jeep Wrangler that you know, it's 30 years old, so everything's starting to fall apart on it. Um, getting some new, uh, getting all the U-joints replaced right now, so that's probably gonna cost me a little bit. Uh, just taking off all these rusted bolts from uh, 1994 <laughs> that have been driven through the mud, and uh, we'll need like a Thor's hammer to get, uh, to come off the dang car, so we'll see. Um, so, Instead of buying the Mini Scorp 2, which looked phenomenal, by the way, that was me bumping the camera, sorry. That was, uh, I'm hoping this gimbal thing works a little bit better. And uh, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll see in the next battle report. I'm gonna try to do more pre-positioned cameras with using my pointer. Uh, and then also uh, just try to calm down and take a breath, which is usually not my strongest forte. And uh, that's it. So I'll stop rambling. I got my whiteboard, got my new troops, got my little my stuff from uh, Battlefield Accessories. And uh, yeah, I'm ready for the next game of uh, General Day Armee 2.